This is the story of the Hobbit. Once upon a time, there was a short, round, hairy little man named Bilbo Baggins, not to be confused with his twin brother Volvo or his stepbrother Dildo. If you're picturing Danny DeVito right now, you wouldn't be far off the mark. Bilbo lived in the Shire, which was the Middle Earth equivalent of Raw League Durham because it was the world's main supplier of premium cigarettes. Bilbo himself was the veteran ad man for Big Tobacco. In fact, he was the mastermind behind some of the most iconic ad campaigns in history, including Old Smokey, the rugged cigarette smoking wizard, Puffy the Elf, the cool hip hop artist turned corporate sellout, best known for showing 8 to 16 year olds how cool it was to smoke. Also a perfect mascot because elves literally never age. And most recently, the Vape Drake, which was created to ride the vaping trend that was sweeping through Middle Earth at the moment. But Bilbo wasn't content with the millions he made robbing people of their health for big tobacco. In short, he wanted to travel to exotic, faraway places, meet new mythical races of people, and experience all that life had to offer by stealing all their money and burning their cities to the ground. So, Bilbo joined a bunch of dwarfen mercenaries and an old wizard named Gandalf, who evidently bucked the trend by insisting on smoking Virginia Slims, much to Bilbo's chagrin. The leader of the dwarves was named Thorin Oakencock, and he was very short, very gruff, very hairy, and vaguely familiar to Bilbo, although he couldn't quite place the fellow. If you're picturing Danny DeVito with a beard, you're on the right track. Anyway, the party embarked on a journey into the mountains, where a horde of goblins kidnapped them, tied them up, and took them to the goblin king in the heart of the mountain. Let us go, said Bilbo. Oh my god, Danny DeVito, I love your work, said one of the goblins. Silence, said the Goblin King in a computer voice through the hole in his neck. Look what your cigarettes did to us. We used to be beautiful people. Do we look sexy to you now? And at that moment, Gandalf came and made a big flash of light and saved all the dwarves from having to look at the ugly, unsexy goblins. But Bilbo fell down a deep hole where he met the unsexiest person of them all, Gollum. Gollum had but one possession, and he loved it even more than Kanye loves himself, a magic ring. But Gollum dropped the ring in the darkness, and Bilbo happened to find it. So, ever the ad man, he played a game of riddles with Gollum, so he could justify his robbing the poor wretched creature of his most valuable possession. And he won the game, naturally, because the riddle was totally bullshit, and because Gollum was mentally disabled. Then some other stuff happened, spiders hiding in barrels, a dragon and a pile of gold. If you're picturing Danny DeVito right now, well, that's just weird. You should be picturing a dragon. Anyway, Bilbo ends up back at the Shire with a lot of stolen gold, yes. But the real treasure was the wonderful memories he had, mostly of a holocaust that was entirely his fault. This book is actually really short and childish. If only someone would make it into a trilogy of three hour long movies. <laughs> Come back next time for the epic tale of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Commerce. Look what your cigarettes did to us. We used to be beautiful people. <laughs>